And now will you listen for, with me for a, um, an advertisement, a, 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 a moment from, uh, about Advent from our American Eggnog Association. <laughs> for Bob and me. Christmas is only weeks away, and we've been enjoying the Advent services so much more this year now that we move to a new church. The minister at the old church would always look down at us and stare at a certain point in his sermons. At this new church, the minister doesn't even know us at all, and we're able to maintain a healthy facade. And now that Bob's mother's senility and dementia have sit in, set in, she doesn't even remember me, and we get along so much better. <laughs> so, things have been going pretty well lately, and I was a little surprised when Bob started complaining about a brief moment of tension at the mall yesterday. Evelyn, I don't even want to go outside anymore. Now, Bob, why? I've always found that folks just seem to smile a little more this time of year. You need to spend some time at the mall on Black Friday. Anyone being nice is just trying to avoid being tased by some competitive shopper. Oh, Bob, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Besides, it's Advent, a time of hope, and I thought you'd be excited. You know our kids will be off for a week at that retreat facility working out their anger toward us. So we'll have the grandkids. And you know why they love to be with us, don't you? Because we have a common enemy? It's because we love them unconditionally. Evelyn, I'm not sure we should bring them to church this next Sunday. You know, it's Advent, and I've been thinking about the text for the sermon. The one about God sending a messenger to prepare the way. I read that text, and now all week I've been seeing things in a different light. Just yesterday I was coming home on the freeway, and this whole guy was standing on the shoulder of the road, pointing and waving at people, holding up some sort of sign. He had a full white beard, was dressed in tattered overhauls, and was wearing a painter's cap. He kind of looked like Santa, you know, lost and in distress. And when I got close enough to see the sign, it said, I've seen the future turn back. Now, Bob, that's just some person. You know, they're out there everywhere. Most folks just ignore them. Yeah, sure. I bet that's what they said about John the Baptist, too. You know, last night we were walking downtown after that movie, and we saw a street corner preacher, and he, had also, he also had a sign. And Remember that one read, Heaven Wants to Know. Is your name on the list? Evelyn, it reminded me of that time when I was seven and my family went to the Episcopal Church on Christmas Eve for the early candlelight service. And on the way down the church hall, I saw a bunch of names inscribed on the wall. So I asked my mom what they were, and she said they were the names of people who died in the service. Now that really made me worry. <laughs> was it the early service or the late one? I couldn't sleep at all that night because I was thinking, that must be the same list Santa was working up on Christmas Eve. So now I didn't want my name on the list. Bob, you're getting all worked up over nothing. It's Advent, a time to prepare the way for hope and love in the world. Besides, I thought you'd be especially happy this year when we found out that my parents aren't coming in for Christmas. You know, I, I thought I would be too, Evelyn, but now I'm thinking it might have been nice to have them here. I think I like hearing about all their problems. Kind of makes me feel so much more fortunate. Um, I'm thinking someone hasn't had enough eggnog today. You know, eggnog has mellowing agents, raw eggs and nutmeg and other ingredients that can help a person put all the troubles and stresses and signs of the times into perspective. I've got some in the kitchen ready now. Well, maybe you're right. These are the good times, times of holiday cheer, children's faces glowing, grandparents are near. 
Advent is flowing like eggnog on Santa's beard. Advent. A message for Advent from your American Eggnog Association.